mighty for what he is doing in our lives and for what he has promised to perform in today's service. Demos gracias a Dios por todo lo que está haciendo en nuestra vida y por lo que va a hacer hoy en este servicio en el nombre de Jesús. Remercions Dieu tout puissant pour ce qu'il a fait dans notre vie et ce qu'il a promis de faire aujourd'hui durant le service. Let us give thanks to God Almighty for extending his hands of love, care, support, guidance to Pastor Evelyn Joshua, the evangelist, the squad workers, the manual TV partners and the viewers all over the world. Demos gracias a Dios por extender su mano de amor sobre la vida de la pastora Belén Joshua, los evangelistas, los obreros, los socios y los espectadores de todo el mundo. Demos gracias a Dios. Merci Dieu tout puissant d'avoir étendu sa main d'amour de guide envers la pastora Belén Joshua, les évangélistes, les partenaires, les téléspectateurs du monde entier. You deserve the glory. And the honor, the Lord, I lift my voice in worship as I praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, the Lord, I lift my voice in worship as I praise your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. En el nombre de Jesucristo damos gracias a Dios. En el nombre de Jesús, gracias. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. En el nombre de Jesucristo damos gracias a Dios. En el nombre de Jesús, que nos rendamos gracias a Dios. Right now, let us let go of offense. Let us let, let us let go of grudges, resentment, pain of the past. Let us let go of anxieties. Let us forgive all those who have sinned against us. Ahora mismo deja ir toda ofensa, todo dolor del pasado, todo rencor, todo resentimiento de tu corazón y perdona a aquellos que han pecado contra ti. Maintenant, débarrassons-nous de toute offense, de toute amertume, de toute douleur du passé. Pardonnons à tous ceux qui nous ont offensés. Sin is unrighteousness and is not pleasing to God Almighty. The Bible says, whether victims or perpetrators, we all stand in helpless need of God's divine mercy and grace. El pecado es injusticia, es inmundicia y no le agrada a Dios. La Biblia dice que ya seamos víctimas o perpetradores, todos estamos en necesidad de perdón divino. Le péché es una injusticia que no le plaît a Dios. La Biblia dice que no seamos víctimas o no, nos tenemos todos besoin del perdón divino de Dios. So right now, let us ask God Almighty to have mercy upon us according to his loving kindness. Let us ask God Almighty to blot out our transgressions and wash us thoroughly from our iniquities. Así que ahora vamos a pedir a Dios que tenga misericordia de nosotros según su bondad y que nos lave de toda inmundicia, de toda transgresión y que nos limpie de todo pecado. Demandons a Dios de su misericordia de nos perdonar todos nuestros pecados, de nos lavar de todas nuestras iniquidades. Let us ask God Almighty to cleanse us from our sins and make us whole. Vamos a pedirle a Dios que nos lave de todo pecado para que así nos pueda hacer completos. Demandons a Dios de nos santificar de todas nuestras iniquidades y de nos rendre completos. Son of David, have mercy on me. Oh, let your mercies speak for me. And your divine favor locate me. Son of David, have mercy. Son of David, have mercy on me. Oh, let your mercy 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús oramos. En el puissant de Jesucristo nos prions. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús oramos. En el puissant de Jesucristo nos prions. Right now, let us commit today's service into the precious hands of God Almighty, for Him to take absolute control, for He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Ahora mismo vamos a encomendar este servicio en las preciosas y capaces manos de Dios, porque Él es el Alfa y la Omega, el principio y el fin. Mettons le service de aujourd'hui entre les mains précieuses de Dieu qui prend le contrôle absolu, car Él es el Alfa y el Omega, el commencement y la fin. Let us commit the leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, and the evangelist into the precious hands of God, for God Almighty to make them vessels of His blessings to the people. Encomendemos ahora a la líder de esta casa, la pastora Belín Yosua y los evangelistas en las capaces manos de Dios para que Dios los haga recipientes santos de todas sus bendiciones. Ometemos a la pastora Belín Yosua y los evangelistas entre las manos puissantes de Dios para que Dios los utilice como un vestido de bendición para su pueblo. Let us commit all those who have come laying their burdens, laying their cares upon God Almighty, for God Almighty to give them rest and bless them abundantly. Encomendemos a todos aquellos que han venido a depositar sus cargas y sus preocupaciones ante los pies de Jesús, ante el trono de gracia, para que Dios les dé reposo y les bendiga abundantemente. Maintenant, prions por todos los que han venido a depositar sus soucis, sus fardos sobre el trono de la gracia, para que Dios les dé el reposo y las bendiciones en abundancia. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús, oramos. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús, oramos. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Oh, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. See ya. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the poderoso nombre de Jesús, oramos. Con el puissant de Jesucristo, nos prions. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. In the precious nombre de Jesús, oramos. Con el puissant de Jesucristo, nos prions. So right now, begin to declare every good words over your life. Así que ahora empieza a declarar toda palabra buena sobre tu vida. Entonces, confiese toda buena palabra sobre tu vida. Tell your neighbor, I am healed. Dile a tu vecino, soy sano. Y a tu vecino, yo soy guerrero. Tell your neighbor, I am delivered. Dile a tu vecino, soy liberado. Y a tu vecino, yo soy delivered. Tell your neighbor, I'm no longer condemned. Dile a tu vecino, ya no soy condenado. Y a tu vecino, yo no soy plus condené. Tell your neighbor, defeats and failures are things of the past. Dile a tu vecino, la derrota y el fracaso son cosas del pasado. Y a tu vecino, la defeat y el échec son de choses du passé. So tell your neighbor once again and smile to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Dile a tu vecino con una sonrisa, vecino. Y a tu voisin. I am healed. Soy sano. Je suis guéri. Say neighbor. Di vecino. Di voisin. I am delivered. Soy liberado. Je suis délivré. Say neighbor. Di vecino. Di voisin. I am no longer condemned. Ya no soy condenado. Je ne suis plus condamné. Say neighbor. Di vecino. Di voisin. 
Defeats and failures are things of the past. La derrota y el fracaso son cosas del pasado. La defeat and the son des choses du passé. Tell your neighbor my past is over. Dile a tu vecino mi pasado se acabó. Passé c'est du passé. If you believe your past is over, put your hands together for the miracle walking God. Si crees que tu pasado se acabó, dale un aplauso a Jesucristo. Vais a aplaudir por Dieu. Yes. As we get ready for the squad. worship him. Thy 
Tata, my everlasting God. Thank you, Jesus. We are still worshiping. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands to him. Call him sweet names. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Nessie. The I am that I am. The God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of Prophet Tibi Joshua. Just wave your hands to him. Call him names out. Say, Father, let your will be done in my life out. Let your wish be done in my life out. Hey, hey. We worship you. We worship you. Of the hearts. Father, we are begging, we are crying. Yeah. 
will carry my load. Oh. You say you will be my God. Oh. You say you will carry my load. Oh. You say you will be my God. Oh. You say you will carry my load. Oh. You say you will be my God. Oh. Because I'll never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. Hey, I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. Hey, I never see any God like you. Hey, I never see any God like you. Hey, Baba, our power cannot be like you. Hey, Oboni power cannot be like you. Hey, Mami, what's our power cannot be like you. Hey, I never see you. Arise, O oh Lord, 
follow me If this is the way you follow me I love the way you follow me If this is the way you follow me Jesus, I love the way you follow me If this is the way you follow me I love the way
Fragrance! 
to be in the presence of the Lord. Give Jesus a shout of praise. If you are happy to be in the arena of liberty, give Jesus a shout of praise. Tell 
neighbor, since power over me is broken. Tell your other neighbor, since power over me is broken. Tell your other neighbor, we join your heart. Since power over me is broken. Tell the other neighbor that Jesus is on top of my case. You are not doing that with a smile. Tell your neighbor with boldness, with confidence, that Jesus is involved in my matter. And when Jesus is involved in my matter, it doesn't matter who else is involved. Because he has settled it for me. Because he has said the final answer. And when he says yes, nobody, nobody can say no. And we believe that put those hands one up for our Lord and Savior Jesus. Let's have our seats in the presence of the Lord. As right now, it is time for testimonies. Time to listen to people who are here to tell us what God has done in their life. so grateful to stand in your midst today. I want to thank God, but first I will introduce myself. Myself is Mrs. Gladys Etemire. And the person standing beside me is my lovely husband, Chief Onoyoda Etemire. We are from Delta, Nigeria, but we reside in Germany. Um, the problem that brought me here is the problem of hearing. After I gave birth to my daughter, I find that I was not hearing with my left ear. For over, going to 90 years now, then I went to daughter, they told me that there is something in my ear because I was hearing some noise from the left. So they now took me to one of the hospital. They flushed the ear, but it was still difficult for me to hear. So after many years, it went down, but the hearing started. I was not hearing anybody. I could hear my husband, and I cannot hear my children. So it was really difficult. And from there, I went to the doctor and get to complain that this is my situation. He now told me that with the situation, I have to um, get some hearing aids that will help me to hear. So, but when I got this uh, hearing aid, there was no improvement because then I started having pains here. So I went back to the doctor. They now told me that um, they have to operate my ear. So I discussed with my husband. He now told me the best we have to come to the arena of liberty where he know my deliverance will take place. We came here the, uh, two Sundays ago, and the woman of God, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn, prayed for me. And what was making noise in my ear just left my ear, and I started hearing. Okay, first of all, tell us, how did this hearing loss affect your relationship with people around you, and also your communication? Yes, it affected me so much, especially when my husband is discussing with me. He's not that type of person that is loud, but I will behave as if I'm not hearing what he's saying. At the same time, it's difficult for him. Then he will speak to me very loud. It is very difficult, really difficult. So tell us again specifically what happened when the woman of God prayed for you. Excuse me, please. When, did, when the woman of God prayed for you, tell us what happened to you. Okay, when she prayed for me, uh, I felt something left my left ear. It's startling. And I started hearing Let's put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus. Like we're seeing on our television, uh, right there on the other part of the screen was when she was here and the woman of God prayed for her and right now she's saying she can hear clearly. So tell us, what are you showing us right now? This is the hearing aid. 
So this is the hearing aid the doctors gave to you? Yes. But after they gave it to you, did it still solve the problem? No, not at all. But after you came here and you were prayed for, now you can hear clearly? I can hear very well. So let's put our hands once, once again for our Lord and Savior Jesus. So with this wonderful testimony God has done for you, what is your advice to people who are listening to you? Yes, my word of advice, uh, I can say, just believe. With God, all things are possible. Indeed, with God, all things are possible. So let's hear from your husband. So, sir, you're welcome. So what do you want to tell us concerning this uh, testimony that your wife has received? First, tell us, how has it been then when she was having this problem, especially when it comes to the communication between you and her? Emmanuel. Hello, I'm Chief Mr. Onorude Etemire. And the person beside me is my lovely wife. Le, uh, really, is, she has said nearly all everything, but uh, what I can add is that we have a lot of issues at home when she was complaining because you can't talk lightly close to her, she will, you have to repeat it one, two, three to four times before she will comprehend. But uh, since uh, last two weeks, I noticed changes. When I speak to her, lightly she understands. I give God all the glory. Let's put our hands together for Lord and Savior Jesus. So what's your advice to people who are listening to you? Well, um, all things have been done. When, yeah, I feel that uh, in synagogue here, the blind sees, the, the lame walk, those who are deaf, just like uh, my lovely wife, Kahir, I think that tells the whole story. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Gladys que vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de audición. Ella tenía sordera en su oído izquierdo, eh, fue al hospital, esto sucedió después de dar a luz y allí le dijeron que su caso necesitaba una cirugía. Le dieron una máquina, una máquina para oír, pero esta maquinita estaba provocándole mucho dolor y molestias. Así que decidió buscar el rostro de Dios en la escoan y aquí vemos el momento en el que la pastora Evelyn Joshua es usada por Dios para abrir sus oídos. Desde ese momento ella oye perfectamente ha recuperado su audición y viene con su esposo a darle toda la gloria a Dios. Ella dice que con Dios todas las cosas son posibles, así que corre siempre hacia Dios, no huyas de él. Bon, on entend l'extraordinaire témoignage de Madame Gladys accompagnée de son époux. Elle raconte son histoire disant que voilà, après avoir accouché, elle a commencé à avoir des, euh, des problèmes d'audition. Elle a commencé à avoir une perte d'audition dans l'oreille gauche. Elle dit que c'était très difficile pour elle de communiquer avec sa famille. Et là, c'est là que le docteur lui a prescrit un appareil auditif, mais elle a dit que ceci a causé de la douleur. Et alors, les docteurs lui ont conseillé de faire une opération. Mais elle a refusé, c'est là qu'elle est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations, où la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Elvin Joshua, a prié pour elle, elle a dit immédiatement, elle a senti que quelque chose est sorti hors de son oreille, et dès ce jour, après la prière, elle attend bien, elle est guérie, elle n'a plus besoin de l'appareil auditif, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu, disant, rien n'est impossible à celui qui croit. People of God, praise the Lord If you know your faith has been lifted up to another level with this testimony you just listened to, shout Emmanuel. Tell your neighbor God is still saying something. Look at your other neighbor and say God is still saying something. Yes, God is still saying something through the life of the people. The next testimony we are about to listen to is a proof that when God heals, he heals completely. And when God says yes, no one can say no. But before we listen to the next testifier, let's watch to see what God what happened before the healing took place. Espectadores de todo el mundo, vamos a ver nuestra pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el siguiente testimonio para la gloria de Dios. Espectadores, del matin, vamos a ver un extrait de cómo esta persona recibió su guérison. This lady has come to the synagogue church of all nations with a terrible case of breast cancer. You can see the wound that has developed on her breast as a result of the cancer, which is oozing a poisonous substance and causing her excruciating pain. Let's hear from her. 
You are welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations this morning. Please, what is your name and your age? My name is Nimota Tajudin. I live at Orile Igomo and I'm 32 years old. What is the problem that has brought you here this morning? I'm here with a problem of breast cancer. Where have you been to in search of solution to this problem? And how has this problem of breast cancer affected you? I've been to a hospital but no solution. It burns and it's very painful most of the time. What is your belief in God Almighty? I believe now that I'm here, I will be healed, saved and delivered, and all my problems will be over. We pray that God Almighty in His infinite mercy will heal you today in Jesus' name. Here is Prophet T.B. Joshua ministering prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit to Mrs. Tajuddin. The mighty power of God is flowing through his faculties to cleanse her system and remove every trace of cancer as he continues to pray. Mrs. Tajuddin begins to shake uncontrollably and then falls to the floor. To God be the glory. clap is not enough. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? The woman is back in our midst to say thank you Jesus for what God Almighty has done in her life. But she's going to speak in one of the Nigerian languages and we will interpret it to you. So ma'am, you're welcome. Please can you tell us your name and introduce yourself? Please ma'am. Shelly <laughs> For a fellow, Sina Prophet B. Joshua, to share my yemi, but do come of you go for Lono, Nitori. The woman said her name is Mrs. Tajudin Nemota, and she's here to return all glory to God for what he has done in her life. Boa Dupe, or in Lana Tolon, she for me. Tori Batimoni Soroji, ah. I can for you when you, but my cat you do me this. What's it be a car You saw your phone do me G, but you go car carry. But lost your speed too. But lost your baba lawo. Cosi cosi so do some for me. But today I'm more titi titi. As you don't need to come back to your I'm a girl on your knee. Ha! But you better be a girl mu. Oh, I don't know mu You could not make me here. Ah, you the girl mu. But lost your. You better more daily. You better not run mu. Solution. Woman said she came here with a problem of breast cancer and she took this problem to a lot of places. She went to the hospital and after some treatment, the doctor said they were going to cut off her breast and she said no, but she still has more to say. Let's listen to her. Tajudin 
So this one, can Kalo sit in a gogu? We belong to Jebe. Only cause we belong to only can Kalo. She said this problem was so severe that it was bringing out a lot of pus because it has an open wound and it was smelling that when she put some rag on it, it would get soaked within very few minutes. And this problem was so bad that you are just looking at it as a very small problem, but it was more than what we saw on the screen. And she said later, a friend of her came to her and said, there is a solution to this problem. And she asked her, what is the solution? And she said, Come with me. Let me take you to the synagogue church of all nations. Bo je di daji jo enu e. O lo ko ba mi lo lo ya 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 ya. O ya je ka lo ba sure ba mo to ko tun. Nigba ta de nko tun bi ni synagogue en. Bus bo synagogue bi. Ba se bo le bayi. Bo awon ero po re pete. Bi mo se ri awon awon wo ka si ni. Ani ki lo se mi ba si won won. Ani ah, je je ro yan lele yi. Ba se mu mi ni e. A ba to mi si Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? She further said that when she came to the synagogue church of all nations and the workers saw her state, they quickly arranged her to the prayer line. And when the man of God, Prophet C.B. Joshua, came out and stretched hand to pray for her, that immediately all the pains that she was feeling left her instantly she received her healing to the glory of god shall we put our hands together for jesus so ma can you tell us your experience when the man of god senior prophet tb joshua stretched out his hand to pray for you she ele so in kosio shelles ni agwara yin nigba ti wo le agba prophet tb joshua ton no wo agbara lati gbadura fun yin bi wo se no wo agbara sin bayi ara Bon Tamini, oh Romini, Bobello Lower Canani. You must have Subulu, a gum, Matmosubu. You tell you really, where must Bubay, more Subula Cassani, to Batak Bemi de Day, ah, Bomoi, Boboto Romini, O one Tamini, Bobelloni. I'm a free bee or say Combai, ah, it's a wonderful, it's a miracle. Shall put our hands together for Jesus. She explained that when Prophet T.B. Joshua stretched out his hand to pray for her, that immediately she felt the school sensation in her body and she fell down flat on the floor. And when she rose up, all the pain stopped instantly and within a very short period, everywhere dried off. <laughs> Oromima, <laughs> Ore kuko lori mi o fun mi ni we alaye gbogbo lati ti di ojo eni bo fi ogo fun olorun baba nu oluwa wo le agba senior prophet tb joshua mo du pa lowo won shall put our hands together for jesus so mama father said before she came for prayers that she couldn't wear clothes because the place she was always in pain and the place was always bringing out water and some other substances. But after the prayer, she could wear her clothes, she could put on her underwear, and people that left her because of the smell that was coming out came back around after the healing, and she's returning all glory to God of Prophet C.B. Joshua. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Soma, how long ago did you receive this healing? 27 years. 
Ogun odun ati odun meje. She said she received this healing 27 years ago. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? And we can see her alive and basking in the Lord. So, ma'am, can you press that place that you were having the pain before? She left. She left. She left. She She left. She left. She left. She left. She left. She She left. 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 Senior Shall we put those hands together for Jesus? As we saw Mama doing earlier, we had to start to press the place that she was having the pain before, which was her breast. And as you can see, she pressed it and she said she no longer feel pain. And she also said that before the prayer, that she was having pain, that she couldn't wear her bra. But now, as you can see, she's wearing her bra and she's wearing her clothes. And she said that is not all. That even after then, that Prophet T.B. Joshua took care of her, as you can see her looking younger than her age. Ma, can you tell us your age? 61 years, anybody? Can you put those hands together for Jesus? She said she's now 61 years of age. Ma, can you press the place again? Shall it say? <laughs> We can see Mama smiling and pressing the breast again, and she's saying she's feeling no more pain. And this is the healing she received 27 years ago, and she's here to return all glory to God Almighty for what God has done in her life. So, Ma, with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your word of encouragement to people listening to you? Okonile <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So Mama is advising and encouraging us that anytime we are facing any problem, that we should take it to God in prayer because God heals, He delivers, and He saves, and He has the final say. So Mama, Helia, you mentioned that a prophet was praying for you. Can you tell us the name of that prophet? Mama, but ten sorrow. A sorrow, pay Woliak back bad raffin. Tani Woliak, but not ten sorrow, Nipai. Woliak, but senior prophet, TB Joshua. Woliak, but bar no dua. Any dollar no point or yanni. Told her she shall at all she shall yano. Woliak, but senior prophet, TB Joshua. Oh, no, she shall for me. Bo walai, bo walai. Mama, she and so pe Olorun lo wo li agba Prophet TB Joshua lati gbadura fun yin. Be ni Olorun lo won lati gbadura fun mi. Bo de ri igbala mo ri wo san. Ta towo mo. Put those hands together for Jesus. So Mama is saying that God Almighty used Prophet T.B. Joshua to pray for her and she received her healing to the glory of God. 
Bon, on entend l'extraordinaire témoignage de Madame Nimota. Elle raconte que 27 ans de cela, elle, a, elle est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations parce qu'elle avait un cancer au niveau du sein. Elle dit qu'elle est partie dans plusieurs endroits à la recherche de solutions, mais en vain, les herbalistes n'ont pas pu la soigner. Les docteurs ont voulu amputer son sein. C'est là qu'une amie l'a conseillé de venir ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Elle raconte qu'elle était dans un état vraiment douloureuse. Elle n'arrivait même pas à porter ses soutiens gorge. Elle dit que la plaie avait même dégagé une mauvaise odeur à cause de l'excès du pus. C'est là qu'elle est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. 27 ans de cela, où le prophète Tibi Joshua a prié pour elle au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit qu'immédiatement après la prière, la douleur a disparu et à la gloire de Dieu, la plaie s'est séchée vite à la gloire de Dieu. Elle dit aujourd'hui, vous voyez, 27 ans après, elle a pu maintenir sa guérison, sa délivrance. Elle n'a plus de douleur en toute la gloire à Dieu, disant, quelle que soit votre situation, accourez vers Dieu dans la prière. Y damos toda la gloria a Dios por este maravilloso testimonio de la señora Nimota que, de Nigeria que viene a testificar de su completa sanidad. Ella, como vemos en pantalla, a la edad de 23 años, 27 años atrás estaba sufriendo un, un cáncer de pecho, fue a diferentes hospitales y los doctores le dijeron que tenían que amputar su seno. Pero ella decidió buscar el rostro de Dios por su milagro y vino a la Escoan. Estamos viendo en pantalla el momento en el que el profeta Tibi Joshua ora por ella, 27 años atrás, ella cae bajo la influencia del Espíritu Santo y recibió su completa sanidad. Sanidad. Hoy, 27 años después, viene a testificar que sigue completamente sana, que Dios la sanó de este cáncer de pecho y viene a darle toda la gloria a Dios. Y aconseja que cualquiera que sea el problema siempre corre hacia Dios, porque Jesucristo es la respuesta a todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That clap is not enough for what you've just witnessed. That clap is not enough for the one who was and still is. That clap is not enough for a miracle-working God. Put your hands beautifully for a miracle-working God. Yes, this testimony you've just listened to is a proof that the age of miracle has not passed. The miracle worker is still alive, and his name is Jesus. Let's put our hands together once again for Jesus Christ. Yes, we have another testifier in our midst who has come to testify to the glory of God. Let's listen to him. Sir, can you please introduce Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I'm here to testify what God has done in my life. My name is Howard Mutambakiaro from Zambia. Amen. I came here in 2022 where a woman of God prayed for me. I had a challenge for financial problem in my company. I opened the company in 2015, which was not operating accordingly. I had no financial to pay my workers. After I was prayed for, when I went back, I was able to pay my workers without getting money or credit. I usually have to borrow money to pay my workers. After that, it was something which I can't believe up to now. Money started coming like water. After I was prayed for, I built a, a guest house, which is 40 rooms, which is operating right now. Shall we put our hands once again for our miracle walking God? Indeed, this is a breakthrough. So, sir, can you please tell us, for the benefit of listeners, how severe was this problem of stagnation? Come again. So, sir, tell us, how bad is this problem of stagnation? I was borrowing money to pay my workers. Every month when I want to pay my workers, I have to borrow money and to pay with interest. And after I was prayed for, when I went back, the number increased from 61 to 500 workers. again for a miracle walking God. Uh, 
Pastor Mama Ephraim Joshua is the one who prayed for me. And when I went back again, I bought even his vehicles. Now I have got more than 25 vehicles after I was prayed for. I have got even the vehicle which I'm using now for charity work. As our mother in the Lord told us, love your neighbor as you love yourself. As you see on the screen of our television, that is when the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, was ministering prayer to him. Let us put our hands once again for our miracle walk in God. So, sir, with this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done in your life, what word of advice you have for listeners? My advice is never lose hope in the word of God. Whatever you want in the house of the Lord, Everything is there. The hand of God is not short. And the God we worship in this ministry is not a human being. Let us continue praying and God is going to give you and you are going to be a second person to give your testimony as I'm standing here today. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, sir, we can see some pictures on the board. Can you please explain? Emmanuel, this is the lodge which I have built after I was prayed for. And as I was coming again here, my boss, who have given me the contract, gave me another contract which I just signed on 2 February for two years, which has brought me joy. Amen. There is another paper, which is here, you can see. There is a company called BHAO, which they have given me to be escorting their vehicles from Zambia to Namibia because of the grace in this ministry. Indeed, our God is too faithful to fail. Indeed, breakthrough after breakthrough. Let's put our hands together once again for our miracle walking God. Vamos a escuchar el maravilloso testimonio del señor Howard que viene de, de Zambia. Él viene a testificar del de milagro financiero en su vida. Nos comenta que en el año 2022 estamos viendo en pantalla el vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones y la pastora Evelyn Joshua oro por él. Él sufrió un problema gravísimo de estancamiento. Nos comenta que su compañía había quebrado, que no era capaz ni siquiera de pagar el salario a sus empleados y estaba enfrentando muchos problemas en su vida. Pero Dios alcanzó su caso a través de la oración de la pastora Evelyn Joshua y al instante su situación cambió. Cambió de la pobreza a la abundancia. Ahora su compañía ha experimentado un tremendo progreso, ha podido pagar a todos sus empleados. Dice que su compañía es una fábrica de hacer dinero, ha podido construir casas, como hemos visto eh, en pantalla, en, en esta pizarra, él nos ha mostrado la, la evidencia, las fotografías, y viene a dar toda la gloria a Dios. Y nos dice que cualquiera que sea tu problema, siempre Dios es la respuesta a todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Busca siempre el rostro de Dios. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por este maravilloso testimonio de progreso financiero. On entend l'extraordinaire témoignage de Monsieur Owa, qui vient de Zambie. Il raconte que voilà, en 2022, il est venu ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations à Lagos, au Nigeria, parce qu'il avait un problème financier, dit que voilà, sa compagnie était en faillite, qu'il n'avait même plus les sous pour payer le salaire de ses employés. Il dit qu'il était endetté jusqu'au cou. C'est là qu'il est venu ici, où la pasteur Anne Joshua a prié pour lui au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il dit que dès son retour chez lui à Zambie, il a commencé à avoir une grande percée en abondance. Il dit que l'argent coule à flot à la gloire de Dieu. Son business a été restauré. Aujourd'hui, il est content, il rend toute la gloire à Dieu, disant, ne perdez jamais espoir en la parole de Dieu. Téléspectateurs, restez connectés pour la suite. If you know that your faith has been lifted up, put your hands together for Jesus. People of God, put your hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. Yes. Indeed, God Almighty continues to prove to us that he remains the healer, the deliverer, and the blessings provider. Once again, let's put our hands together for Jesus. We have another testifier in our midst who would like to tell us about how God Almighty has intervened in their lives. And they are here with us 
to talk to us about the mighty work of God in their lives. Just before we listen to them, let us watch our screen and see how God Almighty intervened. Le spectateur regarde vos écrans de comment Dieu a intervenu dans la vie de ces personnes. Observa tu pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el siguiente testimonio. together for Jesus and they are here in our midst today to share with us their wonderful testimony. Mom, you're welcome in the name of Jesus. Please introduce yourself, tell us who the person standing next to you is and share with us your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel, George, good morning. My name is Blessing, God's power. The person standing beside me is my husband. We are from Imo States. When I was pregnant with my baby, I was having nightmare where a strange man normally came to me in a dream to have an affair with me. And when I woke up, I discovered that I would be so hungry, I would be weak, and at the same time, I would be sad. I would not even talk to anybody. I would just stay one place. So it continued like that. So when I was, uh, my pregnancy was eight months. On my, I was, I was, I went to fetch water. So I fell down. When I fell down, so that I was rushed to the hospital. So when I get to the hospital, they asked me to go for scan. And the doctor was telling me all things that, I, that was scaring me. Like if I have any issue, if I go to the scan and the result, results come out and I have any issue, that they are going to place me for CS. So I was so scared. I said, God, first, I did not have money for CS. And again, I don't know, I don't have the experience. I don't know how it felt like. So instead of going for the scan, I came to Snaggle Church of All Nations for prayers. So when I came that day, I was able to place on the prayer line. So mommy, our mommy, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, prayed for me. So when she prayed for me, when she was praying for me, that pain that I was having as the result of the fall that I fell down, so the pain just disappeared. And I felt peace immediately. I felt peace. I felt happy. So I don't know. I said, so I didn't, I didn't say anything. So I just wait till when she finished praying for me. So I went house and I felt this. I felt different as, as in, like I'm a different person. So there were the anointed water was given to me. So when I got home, I started using the anointed water. I keep on using it. Put the sticker. If I want to sleep, I will place one under my pillow and I will use one to keep, just keep on top my body and sleep. So on the day of the delivery, so I, I, when I was in labor, I have to use the anointing water. When I used the anointing water, because it was late at night, we couldn't go out. So I just used the anointing water. And I was praying. I, call, I wake my husband. I told him, that, look at the way I'm feeling. Oh, it's like I'm in labor. So after using the anointing water, so he went to call one of the nurse that was around in our street. He went to wake her. So she came and checked me, said, uh-uh, when did all this start? I said, I just start now. He said, ah, uh, that our mama about to, my baby is about to come out. So at the process, everything went successfully. There was no issue. There was that. And in fact, I was so happy. My baby came out and I was so strong. I was so strong. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel as if I just put to bed. I just feel normal. And I was, I was very strong. The next day, sir, I was able to wake up very early, prepare my baby, and we went for immunization. And people were even surprised. They were asking me, uh-uh. When I got to the hospital there, the doctor also asked me, how old is my baby? I said, a day old. I said, a day old, and you are this strong. 
So I thank God. I give all the glory to God for all what he has done for me and my family. People of God, that clap is not enough for my Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, it can only be God. Man, we give glory to God for this testimony that you have shared. So now that you are holding your baby, your bundle of joy, how do you feel? I feel happy. I'm so happy. As I didn't expect it. I didn't because all through the pregnancy, there was, there was a, I was having a lot of complaints during the pregnancy. So I'm so happy that now that I have my baby without any issue. I didn't, they didn't rush me to the hospital. They didn't, I didn't have any issue. So I'm so happy. And I thank God. I give all the glory to God who made me to deliver successfully. So what about the nightmares, the pains? Do you still see them? No, I didn't see, even, I didn't see have any such dream. I didn't have any nightmare. Even the hungry that I was, I didn't feel any hungry anymore. I have peace within me. I'm happy. Even if I don't have, I'm always happy. Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus. So tell us, what is the name of your baby? The name of my baby is Baby Victory. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. All right, let's listen to your husband. So you're welcome in the name of Jesus. Can you tell us your name? And what can you say concerning this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done for you and your family? People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Tina Soku Gospawa. I'm from Imo State. The woman standing beside me is my wife. Is my wife. So you have said it or she has said it all. So, you know, let me put it this way. When they say that woman is pregnant, the husband is also pregnant. Because you don't understand that hmm, what will be going maybe to the man like even the one that is the pregnant gogo. So I thank God Almighty who make it possible for us. So I thank God Almighty. Even my own self, I was prayed for and I got my own deliverance here. So my own deliverance goes like this. I am at, uh, at the time of playing gambling. So like as my woman saying that, uh, it's late hour in the night. It's not that, it's not just that it's late hour in the night. It's because of, <laughs> there is like, there is no money to take her to hospital. Like, if you never go, you know, go understand. Like, this gambling of a thing, that happened like seven to eight years ago. A friend of mine introduced me to gambling. Like, ah, this is my game, the main one, no, make it enter. So, I was like, ah, guy, let me see. Then I'm walking in a hotel. So imagine that it started from cleaner to barman, from barman to manager. From manager, the owner of the hotel leaving the hotel for you. Like, you are on list. We, you will be the one paying me. So I'm doing well then. So when the, a friend of mine introduced me to the gambling, so I say, he said, let me open my phone and show you how they do it. I said, no, take me to the place so I can... View house, everything as in the way they play it. So, first of all, I played that first day, the three tickets. So, the, the thing enter. So, I say, wow, this is how people just get easy money. So, this is how I started. I start playing that I would like, huh. if I make all money, like all sales, I will use it. To gambling. After that one, it introduced me to another one again. So they call it a uh, adjustary, something like that. So I be playing, playing my woman shop. Like I render it useless. Like I would just like, mommy, I need some money. I want to complete accounts. You would just give me. When I say it would it be just giving me, so uh, to the extent that you tell me that ah, daddy, there is no money again. No, I say, don't worry. Will get money, but because my own self, I'm believing that 
I will win. That is only what I believe. And that is the spirit that always, that is the noise that rang always right in my ear. Like, I will hear the noise. It will shout, something like, wah. Anytime the noise rang my ear, I will not hold myself again. And my hand will be scratching me. And it will be pushing me, go, 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 go. As long as money is in my hand, I will use that money and play. And when the money is about to like, it may like 200, 300, I will now be sweating. Like, sweating seriously. Like, go, Jesus. Ah, this money, I'm supposed to use it for something like, what, what have I done? So I'll be like shaking. So, and the place you are playing the game, not that you even give seats, you will stand and be playing it. So, you will just like be sweating. See other people, even when you are losing, you will be believing that, yes, you will win. But nothing come out of it. So, but I thank God or Prophet T.B. Joshua who have made it possible to us. So, this is, in, this uh, getting to two years now. I'm no longer playing it. So, I'm a free man. At least I can take care of my family. And the money I'm growing, God giving me the strength and it will be paying. Because then, if I meet you, you will give me the money. I don't know. You will just give me the money. You will give me, and I will promise you that the following day, I will give you. Ah, forget about it. You, I will not give it to you. So people like, they are like mocking me, even to the extent that I start driving a uh, tricycle. So to get sharp money, as an ah, this is a day money. So when I drive, I will walk from morning to night in the evening. When others are going home. I am there playing the gambling. So I would like, when I play, 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 around that kind of 11, 11 to 12, I would say, ah, let me go and look for money for food. Being as if I'm just working for money for food. So, so, I thank God for everything. I thank God. I thank God. I give God glory, honor, praise. Let's put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. Wow. So not only did God Almighty intervene in the case of your wife, God Almighty also located you and delivered you. People of God, what are you waiting for? Can you put those hands together for Jesus? We thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life. With this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done for you, how do you want to encourage the viewers listening to you, especially those in this situation that you were once in? My advice goes like this. Do not doubt in the dark because you are told in the light that God that called you will never fail you. God of two videos will never fail. And I want you to know that Satan has nothing to give. When he gives you with left, he collects it with right. He will not even collect only with right. He will collect everything you have. But I know that you listening to me. Encourage yourself. Believe in God. Because I have gone to many churches. And so, believe in God. What God cannot do does not exist. Believe in God and God will make a way for you. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's listen to your wife. Ma'am, what do you have to say concerning this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done, not only in your life, but also in the life of your husband? I really want to thank God because when my husband was playing, doing all the gambling, I was not aware of it. So it was uh, one night like that that we were, we were watching Emmanuel TV. We were watching Testimony and we saw where a guy was testifying about how he was gambling. So after the, after the testimony, he decided to call me, call me that uh, he wants to tell me something. I said, okay. And he now told me that, uh, that he's, uh, he's addicted in gambling. Me, myself, I said, ah, ah, when did all this start? He said, ah, it's, uh, it's a long time ago that all the money he has been collecting from me, lying to me that he's uh, doing contribution, that is, that is a lie, that he normally use all the money for gambling. So that, that night we were just crying and praying to God that God should please remove that spirit from him. But I thank God that today is no longer the same. 
He no longer tells lies or gambling. He no longer lie or borrow money from me to do what he's not supposed to be doing. I thank God for today. I thank God today that God delivered him. We thank God Almighty for what he has done in the life of your family. And we want to encourage you to make God's word the standard for your life so that this restoration that you have received from God Almighty will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Nous entendons le témoignage de Monsieur et Madame Godspower. Madame Godspower raconte que voilà, elle avait fait un cauchemar durant sa grossesse. Et après ce cauchemar, c'est là que sa vie a pris une mauvaise tournure. Elle dit qu'après ce cauchemar, elle a commencé à avoir des colères intenses. Et elle raconte qu'à huit mois de grossesse, elle a fait une chute. Elle est partie à l'hôpital et les docteurs lui ont conseillé de faire une opération. C'est là qu'elle est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations cherchant la face de Dieu. Quand la pasteur Evelyne Joshua a prié pour elle au nom de Jésus-Christ, elle dit que la douleur dont elle s'est plaignée a disparu instantanément à la gloire de Dieu. Elle dit que de retour chez elle, elle a été bénie avec l'eau du matin et autocollant ouin ici de la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Elle dit le jour de l'accouchement, elle a administré l'eau du matin au nom de Jésus-Christ et à sa grande surprise à la gloire de Dieu, elle a couché sans la moindre difficulté. Elle dit qu'après l'accouchement, elle fut émerveillée comment elle était remplie de force, d'énergie. Les gens étaient même étonnés. Elle dit que c'est grâce à Dieu. Et son mari également a partagé son témoignage disant que voilà, il avait une addiction au jeu d'argent, qu'il a été endetté, qu'il prenait même l'argent de sa femme pour jouer et investir dans les mauvais jeux. Il est venu ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations. Oh, lui aussi, il a reçu sa délivrance à la gloire de Dieu aujourd'hui. Il n'a plus d'addiction. Ils sont tous deux heureux avec leur bébé dans leurs bras. Ils rendent toute la gloire à Dieu. Et acabamos de escuchar le maravilloso testimonio de la señora Joy, qui vient accompagnée de son esposo et de son bébé, de nom Victory. Eh, ella viene a testificar de su milagrosa, eh, de su milagrosa experiencia aquí en Las Coan. Ella nos comenta que vino, como vemos en pantalla, embarazada. Ella solía tener malos sueños. Una noche tuvo un sueño eh, con un hombre en el cual tenía, mantenía relaciones amorosas y a la mañana siguiente comenta que se levantó, se despertó con mucho enojo. A partir de ahí, durante su embarazo, solía tener ataques de enojo que afectaban su matrimonio. Así que eh, los doctores, en una revisión, le dijeron que no podría dar a luz de un modo natural y que necesitaría una cesárea, pero ella decidió buscar el rostro de Dios en la escuela. Y como vemos en pantalla, la pastora Ebrein Yoso oró por ella y su bebé nació de parto natural, de un modo milagroso. Eh, también el esposo recibió su liberación porque nos dice que era completamente adicto al juego y solía gastar el dinero de la familia, el de él y de la esposa en juegos. También recibió aquí su liberación en las coan. Así que viene a testificar de la vida milagrosa de este bebé, Víctor, y de su eh, completa restauración en su hogar y en su matrimonio. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. People of God, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, my neighbor, my testimony is just a moment away. My testimony is just a moment away. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. We give glory to God for all the wonderful testimonies that we've listened to. Regarding today's testimonies, this is how far we can go. So as we prepare...
along with me.
Jericho. They shouted. So people of God, can you give Jesus Christ a shout of praise? That shout is not enough for the miracle walking God. Give Jesus Christ a shout of praise. Yes, let's give thanks to God Almighty for what he has been doing in this ministry. From the time past till now, he has been doing a lot of things. Give praise to God Almighty for what he has been doing in, in this ministry. The synagogue church of all nations. Put your hands together for Jesus. (laughs) 
we may have our seats in the presence of God. Emmanuel, we bring you greetings and to viewers all over the world from the woman of God who went to the nation of Ghana to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with miracles of healing, deliverance, accompanying it. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. As we all know, that there was a revival meeting in Ghana with Pastor Evelyn Joshua on Friday. And God Almighty proved that he is the same today, yesterday, and forever. The miracle worker is alive. And what is his name? Jesus. Can you shout that name? Jesus. Shout that name. Jesus. Yes, God Almighty has done wonderful things through Prophet T.B. Joshua. And he's doing it again and again through Pastor Evelyn Joshua. So people of God, can you give Jesus Christ a shout of praise? Yes, in the revival meeting, we witnessed healing, deliverance, and all of his blessings. People who were sick received their healing. The demon possessed received their deliverance, and the captives were set free. So out of the very many moments, out of the healing, the deliverance, the, the blessings that happened, that happened right there at the revival meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua, we want to bring to you some of the miraculous the healing, the deliverance that we witnessed right there at the Ghana meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua. So viewers all over the world, people seated right here. So wait as we bring to you the revival meeting with Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Espectadores de todo el mundo, vamos a ver ahora las imágenes de todo lo que Dios hizo a través de la Pastora Evelyn Joshua en, este, en esta reunión de avivamiento en Ghana. En recientemente celebrado. Espectadores, mantengan su atención permanente conectados. Aquaba, welcome Pastor Evelyn Joshua, is inscribed not only on their t-shirts, but also in their hearts, expressed in a traditional celebratory dance, as these get ready to welcome Pastor Evelyn Joshua to the nation of Ghana. Wearing their traditional costumes, the men perform in a traditional vibrant dance, so too the women, whose costumes bear the colors of their nation's flag. This is the moment they were all waiting for. Pastor Evelyn Joshua arrives to the nation of Ghana. And what better way to receive her than a beautiful bouquet of flowers? She in turn expresses her appreciation. One of them places a traditional Ghanaian scarf around her neck to honor her visit to the nation. She greets all of the dignitaries present. children are happy to have her in their nation and give her a warm embrace. As they dance and celebrate the woman of God's arrival to Ghana, she bids them farewell until they meet again at the upcoming revival in Ghana with Pastor Evelyn Joshua to be held at the Skoan Ghana branch.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He is able more than ever. Please, what consigns me today? He is able more than ever. people of God. Win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. 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 Shall we give Jesus Christ a beautiful hand? beautiful clap offering. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Amen. It's good to be here once again. Good to be here once again. And also to meet you in faith. I thank you all for standing up for Jesus Christ. Thank you for standing up for Jesus Christ. May his goodness never pass you by. May the joy of God never pass you by. Amen. May his peace never pass you by. Amen. May his glory never pass you by. Amen. May the grace of God never pass you by. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 To all whom God has called to be part of this meeting. Wherever you are connecting with us right now. I say to you, relax in the precious arm of God. You relax in the precious arm of God. In his mercy, you are not excluded. In God's mercy, you are not excluded. And so wherever you are connecting with us, just relax. The Spirit of God will minister to you in spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us give Jesus Christ a beautiful hand of applause again. Please do have your seats. Amen. Amen. Yes, I bring you the good news. The good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to tell you the story. The sweet story of his love, of his grace, his mercy, his goodness, his peace and love. I am here to talk about his healing power, his deliverance power, to talk about his forgiving power, his salvation power, the wonderful working power of God. That is our assignment. That is why we're here. Our assignment, by the grace of God, as children of God, as vessels in his hand. So let us talk about God. Say to someone, let us talk about God. Let's talk about God. Let's talk about God and his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I feel like walking in your midst. Amen. That place is simple.
seems to be too high. <laughs> yes. The word of God in the book of Acts of Apostles, 10 verse 38 says, or told us, that Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was anointed by God Almighty with the Holy Spirit and with power. That Bible verse shows how God Almighty anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power to do what? What was that anointing for? What was the purpose? The scripture told us that he went about doing good after the anointing. Christ went about doing good, healing all that we are praised by the devil. I want us to look at the word oppressed. Who oppresses one? Who oppresses one? Devil. Devil the oppressor. The accusers of the brethren. Christ went about healing all that we are oppressed by the devil because God was with him. Do you believe the Bible? You believe the Bible? You believe the word of God? Do you believe that Jesus Christ was given such power to move? You believe that? This question is very important. It's very vital to us. Because the scripture equally told us that during his earthly ministry, many do not believe him. Many do not believe him. And today, many are still living in doubt concerning that. Many are still living in doubt concerning that. Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power, and he went about doing good. There is a calling, an assignment that needs to be accomplished. And so whether they believe him then or not, that does not change who he is. Whether they believe him or not, that does not change his position. They believe him or not, that does not bring him down from his glory. He is Lord. Let someone say, Jesus is God. Jesus. He is Lord. Jesus. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. That is our God. That is our God. Today, many people try to figure out God with their natural mind. They try to figure out God with their mind. Oh, they say to themselves, this is how God should look like. This is how God should look like. This is whom God should bless. This is how God should move. This is whom he should call. They try to figure out God with their mind. And by so doing, this goes to this direction. That one goes to the other direction. Getting you to look at life and its thorns, its troubles, adversities from the natural is a trap of Satan. You to look at life from the natural, life's thorns, adversities, trouble is a trap of Satan. Storm, an opera, a force that is capable of moving things out of position. Is a force that is capable of moving things out of its position. That is capable of drilling men from their natural focus. As a believer. Satan does not want any believer to live a life of faith. Doesn't want you to live a life of faith. Doesn't want you to look at things from God's point of view. And so he works hard. Satan works hard. He's a workaholic. I remember those days when we'll be having meetings and the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, will be there and people will begin to report, hey, this person works hard. That person works hard. Oh, he belongs to this department. He works in this department and the man of God will say, workers of iniquity. Satan works hard. 
very hard. Satan does not want any believer to live a life of faith, so he works hard to overpower you, making you to think the thought of evil so that he can have dominion over you. Have dominion over you. If you look at the Bible in the book of Matthew, 16 verse 23, and Savior Jesus Christ rebuked someone, Peter, his close ally. Who could have imagined that? He rebuked him. And that rebuke was necessary because there's a force that is capable of moving things out of place. He was speaking from the natural. Force that is capable of drilling him out of his natural focus. And so he rebuked him to awaken his consciousness, to remind him that he is in the battlefield. Say, you get out from me, you Satan. You are a dangerous crap to me. Jesus rebuked Peter. Get out from me, Satan. You are a dangerous crap for me. Jesus Christ went about doing good went about doing good to those who will appreciate him and those who will not those who will acknowledge him and those who will not he went about doing good to those who will question his authority and those who will accept him as savior God was with him one with God is majority over Satan he went about doing good setting those are in bondage free Captivity of Satan. Those in cage. Bondage. Physical bondage. Spiritual bondage. Psychological bondage. Bondage. Emotional bondage. Financial bondage. He went about setting them free. God was with him. And Jesus is still doing the same today. Yes, he's still doing the same today. To you who believes... Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe that Jesus was given power? He was anointed by God Almighty. So Christ is still doing the same today. Is he still healing the sick? Healing the sick. Making the lame to walk. Giving sight to the blind. He is still feeding the hungry. Christ is still driving out Satan from those who were oppressed. You know, the Bible told us. He went about doing good, delivering those, healing those who were oppressed by devil. He's still doing the same today. And also preaching the good news, the coming of the kingdom of God. If you look at the Bible in the book of Matthew, Matthew 5 verse 9, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will be called children of God. The Bible did not say troublemakers. It didn't say fault finders. No, it said peacemakers. And so are you a child of God? Yes. Ah. Are you a child of God? Yes. Are you sons and daughters of God? Yes. So you are a peacemaker. Yes. <laughs> Let someone say, I am a peacemaker. I want to hear somebody say, I am a peacemaker. A peacemaker. Let me hear you again say, I am a peacemaker. And this will bring us to our message today. Peace, God's purpose for you. Yes. Amen. So open your Bible with me to the book of Luke. Chapter 2, verse 14. says, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Glory be to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. One of the reasons for Christ's coming is to guide your feet into the ways of truth. If we look at that Bible in the book of Luke chapter 1 verses 1 to the end you will see that one of the reasons for Christ's coming is to guide your feet in 
into the ways of truth, love, peace. And that is for all who has partaken of his redemption power. Just examine your life. Examine your work with God. It speaks something you are growing in and also something you are leaving behind. Peace. Is it something you are growing in and also something you are leaving behind? Because as a child of God, you grow in faith, you grow in love. It is peace we are talking about today. Is this something you are growing in? Every day, every moment of your life, is this something you are leaving behind as well? The scripture says, glory be to God in the highest and on earth, peace among men, with whom he is well pleased. It means if you have the peace of God in you, God is pleased with you. If his peace reigns in your life, God is pleased with you. We look at the scriptures in the book of Genesis 4. Genesis chapter 4. There were just two brothers in the whole planet world. Just two brothers. Cain and Abel. And yet the world is not big enough for them to live in peace. Yeah, the world is not big enough for them to live in peace. There is constant trouble, constant conflict, anger, bitterness, jealousy, envy, name it, unforgiving spirit, inability to admit wrongs doing. Just two brothers in the whole world. They can't live in harmony with themselves. One brother could not find peace with God because his ways was not right with God. He keep on struggling. So it is with many people today. They will keep on struggling. That is not for a child of God. In fact, at a time, God has to call one. Call him king. Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? So he's asking you today, those who have not found peace in him, say, why are you angry? And he said to him, see, sin is crouching at your door. Sin is moving. It's crouching at your door and it desires to have you. But you must rule over it. Sin, Satan, they are synonymous with each other. Sin is crouching at your door. Satan is just by your door. He desires to have you, but you must rule over him. I pray for you. May sin never desire to have you. Yeah. It means that sin can desire to have one. Satan, he works very hard, tiredly. To have you. I pray for you today. May sin never desire to have you in the name of Jesus Christ. And what are the things we are talking about today? Pride. Arrogance. Jealousy. Envy. Bitterness. Unforgiving spirit. Lying tongue. Covetousness. False witness. I pray may sin never desire to have you in the name of Jesus Christ. But God equally said that even if he tried, you have the power to stand against it. You have the power to stand against it. So I pray for you again. May sin never desire to have you in the name of Jesus Christ. If your life comes from Christ Jesus, your life will speak of peace. If your life comes from Christ Jesus, your life will speak of peace. True peace 
is found in coming back in harmony with Christ Jesus, with God and his will, his desires. God Almighty is the solution to all life problems. He is the solution to your life problems. There is no lasting peace outside him. No lasting peace outside God, outside Jesus Christ. Peace in Christ erases every traces of bondage in the life of a true worshiper. True in your life, peace in your life will erase every traces of bondage in your life as a true worshiper. Those who have committed their lives to God Almighty in spirit and in truth, who has committed their life to his will, his purpose. And so my brethren, you can conquer Satan and his agents by holding on to God, holding on to Christ Jesus. Absolute trust and believe in him and sharing in the anointing. Sharing in the power, in the authority that he has given his son, Jesus Christ. You are a particle of it. You can share from it. That will enable you to move. Just as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was able to do the impossible. You will move in his strength. You will walk through him. You will speak through him and there will be results. Existence of peace in your life is the assurance of God's blessings in you. Without which, nobody can experience a glorious life and newness in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, my peace I give to you. My peace I give to you. I don't give as the world gives. The world gives you peace with condition. Attached to it. They said my peace I give to you. I don't give as the world gives. The peace of God is stronger. Is mightier. Flawless. So you seek for it. Say to someone seek it. Seek peace. Seek peace of God. You will find it. You seek the peace and you find it. God Almighty makes his peace available to all who comes to him. As you abide in God, you must also abide in his character. You must also abide in God's character. What are the characters of God? Goodness. Righteousness. Holiness. Peace. Just. As you abide in God, you must also abide in his character. The fruit of the Spirit must grow in you. As it's written in that book of Galatians 5. Verse 22 to 23. Fruit of the Spirit. You grow in love, which is the greatest of it all. You must also grow in peace. Because it's peace that holds all of them together. It is the peace of God that holds all the fruit of the Spirit together. If you lose your peace, you will lose your patience. You lose your gentleness. You lose your self-control. All the virtues. You lose your peace. You will lose every other thing. It is peace. You are growing in love. The Bible said, love is the greatest. But you must also grow in peace. Because peace holds all of them together. The moment you lose your peace, you lose every other virtue. You lose your kindness. You lose your patience. You lose your gentleness. You lose your self-control. The first place that Satan tries to attack a child of God is to steal their peace. To steal your peace. And once peace is stolen, you become agitated, anxious, 
worried. Dissatisfaction, discontentment set in. They are not fruit of the Spirit, and the Lord cannot lead you with them. These are not fruit of the Spirit. God Almighty cannot lead you with them. And the moment you allow them to dictate your direction in life, your day-to-day -day life, they will drive you away from God's purpose for your life. I want us to open our Bible to the book of Romans 16, from verse 17 to 20, and let us read together. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your ways that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ. They're their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattering, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Amen. Amen. The Bible said the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. If God has said it, he will do it. If the word of God has said it, he will do it. God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Amen. 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 We need to abide to the sound doctrine of the scripture. Anything that differs from it brings what? Division. Confusion. Offense. The word of God is clear. It's not twisted in any way. Even though many people try to interpret it to suit their own philosophy. God's word is straightforward. Abide to the sound doctrine of the scriptures. Anything that is contrary to it brings what? Offense and division in the house of God. In your homes. Many people, they call God, God. Master, Master. Lord, Lord. But their heart is far away from him. Their heart is far away from God. They serve their own interests. Corrupting the head and deceiving the heart. Guide your heart. Keep your heart with all diligence. You keep your heart with all diligence. The work of a seducer, work of a deceiver, is to set upon those who are softened by conviction. So don't be a deceiver and don't be deceived. Abide by the sound doctrine of the scriptures. Do not be a deceiver and don't be deceived. The blessings of God in your life is your victory over Satan. He will put Satan under your feet, crush him under your feet. And if God has said it, he will do it. What did he say to you in the book of Philippians? Philippians 4, from verse 4 to 7. Say, rejoice in the Lord always. What did the word say? Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evidence to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the God of peace will transcend all understanding, will guide your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. And so, people of God, I say to you today, as the world grows in fear, in torment, name-calling, bullying, Child of God, grow in what? Love, in peace, in understanding wisdom of God. The peace of God in your heart, in your mind will keep you in Christ Jesus. Today, the world grows in fear, they grow in torment, they grow in bullying. Name calling, grow in love, grow in peace, grow in wisdom understanding the attack of devil 
attack of Satan that will steal your peace if you let it, if you allow it, will strengthen your peace if you resist it. The attack of devil in your life, attack. Devil is walking. His attack that will steal your peace if you allow it, will strengthen your peace if you resist it. And so I say to you all today, hold on to God. Walk in his ways. Seek him at all times. Commit yourself to him. We have peace because we know God. We have peace because we know God. And by his authority we know that nothing will happen to us unless he permits it. Nothing will happen to us unless God permits it. So the word of God said to you in the book of Romans 8 verse 28. It says all things work out for the good of those who love God. Everything work out for your good because you love God. Those who are called according to his purpose. Say I'm called according to the purpose of God. I am called according to the purpose of God. I am called according to the purpose of God. And so my brethren, my highest place is God's dwelling place. The highest place of man is God's dwelling place. Abide in God. Let him abide in you. Remain focused. Do not allow your focus to be broken. Because broken focus is the reason why men fail. Broken focus is the reason why you will fail. Don't let your focus to be broken. God Almighty, we give you the grace as his child, as a believer, to continue to witness for him in word and in life. Not until you stand at the pulpit and you begin to preach any place can be a good place, better place to witness for God. You are a witness, a missionary in this world. Talk about who you know. Speak about his love. To everyone you come across in life. And I pray that God will give you the grace to stand in times of difficulty. That is when the world knows who you are as a child of God. God bless you all. Thank you.
When you were in Casa? From the father's house. for mass prayer Amen. are you ready yes. are you ready yes. yes the Bible says the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword the words we are about to speak now are not our words but God's word say my heart listen to the voice of God my heart listen to the voice of God my heart Listen to the voice of God. Right now, with the authority in the name of Jesus, whatever chain Satan must have used to hold you down to where you do not belong, begin to break it in the name of Jesus. Whatever chain Satan must have used to hold you down to where you do not belong, begin to break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus. Chain of limitation, chain of pain, chain of disappointment. Break
Ahora mismo comienza a romper. Toda cadena que te tenga atado. Brisez le au nom de Jésus. Brisez la chaîne au nom de Jésus. Dis tu cadena de limitation. Tu chaîne de limitation. Tu cadena de retrocession. Holding me down. Qui me retient. Holding me down. Me tenía en donde no pertenezco. Se ha roto. Se ha roto. Se ha brisé. 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 Se ha
because God's word says I am delivered. Porque la palabra dice que soy Let libre. me hear someone say I am blessed. Si que dice, I am blessed. Because the word of God says I am blessed. Let it be done to you today according to your belief in the name of Jesus. Let it be done to you today according to your belief in the name of Jesus. Let the power of healing fall afresh on you in the name of Jesus. The power of deliverance fall afresh on you in the name of Jesus. Break through in your life. Break through in your life. Break through in your way. Break through in your business. Break through in your career. Break through in your job. Break through in your mind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift our holy hands in one accord. Singing blessed be the name. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, wave those hands, wave those hands in adoration. Clap those hands for Jesus. Clap those hands for Jesus. Yes, we serve a very great God. Greet your neighbor. Good morning. Good morning. Win today. today. Win tomorrow. tomorrow. And win forever. forever. Greet them with a smile on your face. Good morning. morning. Win today. today. Win tomorrow. tomorrow. And win forever. forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Yes, greetings from our mother in the Lord, Pastor Mama Evelyn Joshua. Sister should tell you that you are not forgotten. Yeah. Say to your neighbor, I am not forgotten. Yeah. Say to your other neighbor, I am not forgotten. Am not forgotten. My, day My day of remembrance, of remembrance. has come. Has come. Mm. Yes, you are in the arena of liberty. We are healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. So just relax. Tell anybody relax. relax. The same God, the same God. that did it in Ghana, in Ghana. with Pastor Mama Evelyn Joshua, <laughs> we do it here now. Do we do it here now? In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You may be seated in his presence in Jesus' name. Yes, join us as we attend to those who are the prayer line, believing God for their healing, their deliverance, and their miracle. As you join us, you also will be touched by God's grace in Jesus' name. Thank you, and God bless you all. God, please help me. My name is Ijoma Elodimo. I'm so, I have difficulty in walking due to lumbar spondylosis. I am using lumbar concerts. I cannot walk. Even with the lumbar concerts, I have pains all over my body. I cannot stand. I cannot walk. Please, man of God, help me. Please help me. Espectadores de todo el mundo, comenzamos esta sección de emergencias, esta línea de oración en vivo y en directo, transmitiendo desde la Arena de la Libertad. Vemos cómo el evangelista empieza a ministrar sanidad en la vida de esta mujer con dificultad para caminar usando un corsé lumbar. Espectadores, el poder de Dios está en la casa. It is happening live and direct at the Arena of Liberty. You're witnessing God Almighty use the faculties of the evangelist to minister divine healing to the life of that woman. Watch a reaction under the anointing of God. God Almighty is repairing all that needs to be repaired in her life. He's restoring her back to her normal position in Christ Jesus. We all over the world, wherever you are, begin to open the doors of your heart, begin to believe in the promises of God's word, and receive all that he has promised you in his word, in Jesus' name. Espectadores, hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Vemos esta mujer como ha caído bajo la influencia de la oración del evangelista, la influencia del poder del Espíritu Santo, y vemos como ahora le he retirado este corsé lumbar. Hay sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk well now. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. No more pain. No more pain. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Y hemos visto a esta mujer caminar libre para la gloria de Dios. El evangelista ministra ahora sanidad en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesucristo. En la vida de esta mujer con dificultad para caminar. Vemos Thank cómo camina libre ahora para la gloria de Dios. I am healed in Jesus' mighty name. I give glory and honor to Almighty God for His divine healing in my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We just witnessed the woman testifying to the glory of God, of God's wonderful work in our life. Viewers, wherever you are, begin to open the doors of your heart. Begin to believe on what God says about you in his word. Begin to meditate on the promises of God's word. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of him. If you're just tuning in, we're live and direct at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the Arena of Liberty, at the prayer line session. And God Almighty is using the faculties of the evangelists to bring about change in the lives of the people. Because yeah. wherever you are, you too can be healed, you too can be delivered, you too can be blessed, you too can be saved. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and receive in Jesus' Thank you, Jesus. name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Continuamos en esta sección de oración, en esta línea de oración. ministra sanidad en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. 
Come unto me, all you who are laden and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. The people have come at the prayer line session with their burdens, with the burdens of their sicknesses, their diseases, and their infirmities. They are laying it at the feet of Jesus, and God Almighty is restoring rest of divine healing into their lives. Continuamos en este glorioso tiempo de oración. El Espíritu Santo se está moviendo con poder. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Vemos esta mujer recibiendo su sanidad, la reacción, al caer bajo la influencia de la oración del evangelista. Y hay poder, hay poder suficiente para que te alcance, toca tu pantalla y recibe. Estamos en la arena de la libertad. Watch the reaction of the young lady undergoing divine healing in the name of Jesus. God Almighty is restoring her back to her normal position in Christ Jesus. Because wherever you are, God Almighty is willing and ready to restore you back to your normal position in Christ Jesus. Maintenant, un temps de prière et de délivrance. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Happy heart. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Indeed, thank you, Jesus, is a response from a happy heart. Indeed, this is the arena of liberty, and at the arena of liberty, healing, deliverance, blessings, breakthrough, it's just like breathing. Because wherever you are, you too can receive, you too can be a partaker of God's divine healing at work here at the arena of liberty, the synagogue church of all nations. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and believe as you watch God's power in action, trust him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Vous voyez la preuve ici dans la reine de la liberté. Enceinte, touchée, suffit pour apporter la guérison. Quand par exemple cet homme a des difficultés à respirer, regardez, regarde, il reçoit sa délivrance. Vemos como el evangelista impone manos ungidas en la vida de este joven con dificultad para eh, respirar. Y Jesucristo está tocando la vida de este joven ahora. Espectadores, cuando el poder de Dios está presente, la sanidad es como el respirar. Así que toca tu pantalla y recibe. Estamos viendo el servicio en vivo y en directo desde la Escoa, en Lagos, Nigeria. A steadfast look at the crucified one will never look in vain at the great physician, and Jesus Christ is a great physician. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Indeed, the people have come with steadfast look to Jesus Christ I'm as the great better. physician thank in their you, lives. Lord. If I can use this news to be now, I'm feeling better. Thank you, Lord. 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 Y esa mujer viene con un problema en su hígado, un problema en de fibrosis en su útero desde hace tres años. Vemos como Jesucristo está sanando ahora a las personas porque hay poder en el nombre de Jesús, poder para sanar y liberar. El evangelista impone manos ungidas en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Dios, you're witnessing God Almighty pull down every demonic stronghold in the life of the people. He's pulling down the stronghold of sicknesses, diseases, and infirmities from the people's lives and is restoring rest into their lives in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y el evangelista continúa orando bajo la influencia del Espíritu Santo. Vemos cómo impone manos ungidas en la vida de esta mujer con un problema de infertilidad desde hace tres años. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús, poder para sanar, bendecir y liberar. Espectadores, estás viendo el servicio en vivo desde la Arena de la Libertad en Lagos, Nigeria. Cet homme est venu chercher les fruits des entrailles, la face de Dieu. Elle est infertile depuis trois ans dû à des blocages au niveau des tubes. Regardez les spectateurs, reçoit sa délivrance au nom de Jésus-Christ. Libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Y el evangelista continúa ministrando sanidad y liberación bajo la unción y el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre del único y gran sanador Jesucristo. Este hombre es adicto a fumar y a beber y vemos como Jesús está trayendo libertad y sanidad a su casa ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Declaré libre de una adicción a fumar y a beber en el nombre de Jesucristo. Gracias Jesucristo por la restauración y la liberación. Gracias Jesús, gracias Jesús. 
Continuemos en este tiempo de oración en la línea de oración aquí en vivo y en directo desde el servicio dominical en vivo de la SCOAN. El evangelista ministra sanidad en la vida de este hombre con hepatitis, un problema de ataques diabólicos, problemas que tiene desde hace 11 años, que Jesucristo acaba de desarraigar ahora. Cet homme souffre d'appendicite. Vous voyez, l'évangéliste a ministré la prière sous l'influence du Saint-Esprit. Grassy witnessing, healing and deliverance taking place right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And we have people who have received their instant healing and they are here with us to share with us their testimony. Ma'am, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name and tell us the problem that has brought you down here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel, my name is Joy Jimei Rabie. I'm from Delta States. I'm a police officer by profession. I'm an assistant superintendent of police in Nigeria. So I had an accident a month back, and I sustained soft tissue injury on my left foot. As a result of that, I was unable to walk. I couldn't go back to work because I serve in Port Harcourt. I've been going to the hospital, receiving treatment. At some point, I was using a walking aid to help me with working. And then I also have lumbar spondylosis on my back. I have very severe back pain. But then after the prayer, I experienced like very calm and cold sensation all over my body. And the pain that I'd be feeling in my back, in my leg, gone, all gone, everything gone. And I feel better now. I can turn my back. I can jump. I can do anything I want to do now. I can go I could... I couldn't really do this before because of the pain I feel on my left leg and my back, but I can do that now. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. So can you demonstrate for us now the things that you can do? Okay, I can Thank I you, Jesus. Work. I'm not feeling any pain. I can't bend. I can march. I can do everything I'm supposed to do as a police officer now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Damos wow. toda la gloria a Dios por este maravilloso testimonio de sanidad instantánea. Vemos como el evangelista ora, ora por esta mujer con glaucoma bajo la unción y la influencia del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre del único y gran sanador Jesucristo. Espectadores, estás viendo el servicio en vivo y en directo desde la Arena de la Libertad en Lagos, Nigeria. Il n'y a point de maladie que Jésus-Christ ne peut guérir. Voyez l'évangéliste qui prie pour cette femme qui souffre d'un gros com. Les spectateurs, connectez-vous par la foi et recevez votre guérison au nom de Jésus-Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Y el evangelista ahora por, por esta mujer que tiene un problema de sangrado debido a los fibromas múltiples. No hay problema que Jesús no pueda sanar. No hay enfermedad que él no pueda curar. Estamos viendo cómo impone manos ungidas en el vientre de esta mujer. Jesucristo está trayendo sanidad divina ahora a su caso. Cette femme a des saignements dus à de multiples fibromes. Un simple toucher suffit pour expulser ce que le diable a déposé dans son corps. Ici, la présence et l'onction de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ règne puissamment dans la reine de la liberté. If you are just joining us, we are here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, where God Almighty is using his evangelist as a vessel of shining light into the life of the people. So anywhere you are watching from, you too can be a partaker of this healing that is going on right now. All you need to do is to believe, and surely God Almighty will answer you at the point of your needs. Y el evangelista continúa orando bajo la influencia del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre del único y gran sanador Jesucristo. Esta mujer viene en busca de un parto seguro y Jesucristo está tocando ahora su caso. Espectadores, tú también puedes participar de la unción aquí en la casa. Toca tu pantalla, recibe tu poción hoy en el nombre de Jesús. Y el evangelista continúa orando una por una 
Todas las personas están siendo tocadas y alcanzadas por el poder sanador de Jesucristo. Vemos cómo impone manos ungidas en la vida de esta mujer que viene en busca de un parto seguro. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Evangéliste, prie pour les femmes qui sont venues afin d'accoucher en toute sécurité, cherchant la face de Dieu pour donner naissance à la gloire de Dieu. Téléspectateurs, si vous aussi, vous êtes dans la même situation, connectez-vous par la foi. La distance n'est pas une barrière à l'onction de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Espectadores, la unción está en la casa, una por una. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, is a response from a grateful heart. Remember, the word of God says, the hand of the Lord is not too short, neither is his here too dull to hear us at the point of our needs. So anywhere you are, put your faith ahead of you, you and God Jesus. Almighty will meet Thank you at the point of your needs. Y una por una, todas las personas están siendo top. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Esta mujer viene en busca de un parto seguro y Jesucristo está tocando su caso. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, tout genou fléchira, toute langue confessera qu'il est Seigneur. Et oui, vous voyez ici, au nom de Jésus-Christ, toute puissance des ténèbres se soumet à l'autorité de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Évangéliste, prie pour cette femme dont l'enfant est en mauvaise position, position de siège. Vous voyez le Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, elle accouchera en toute sécurité. que viene en busca de un parto seguro porque el bebé viene presentado de nalgas pero Jesucristo está tocando ahora su caso y recolocando Au nom de Jésus-Christ, au nom de Jésus-Christ, toutes les chaînes démoniaques sont brisées à la gloire de Dieu, apportant la restauration, la libération et la guérison au nom de Jésus-Christ. The restoration process is what is taking place as the baby is being moved from a bridge presentation to the normal position for a safe delivery. So viewers, wherever you are, if you have the same problem, touch your screen by faith. To God's power, nothing is impossible. Damos gracias a Dios. Y la unción está en la casa, espectadores de todo. Que toca tu pantalla y se partícipe del poder sanador y libertador en el nombre de Jesucristo. Vemos como el evangelista impone manos ungidas en la vida de esta mujer en busca de un parto seguro. No hay problema que Jesús no pueda sanar. The healing power of God is being bestowed upon the expectant mother as prayers in the name of Jesus Christ is going on for her to have a safe delivery. Téléspectateurs, ou que vous soyez dans le monde, connectez-vous par la foi, touchez l'écran de votre téléviseur alors que l'évangéliste admise la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Faites une requête d'onction par Jesus. la foi. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, I'm free.
Cristo puede traer a tu vida porque Él es el único y gran sanador. Yeah, we have people who have come laying their bodies, laying their cares upon God Almighty for God Almighty to give them rest. We have sicknesses ranging from mental disorder, barrenness, ulcers, and the rest. They have come seeking for God's divine intervention, and God Almighty is meeting them at the point of their needs. So viewers, wherever you're watching from, remember that your sickness, your disease does not embarrass Jesus. Touch your Thank screen you by Jesus. faith. Thank you, Jesus. Connect by faith to receive of God's healing power. Les évangélistes sont maintenant à l'extérieur, priant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Rappelez-vous, il n'y a point de maladie que Jésus-Christ ne peut guérir. Quel que soit le nom, au nom de Jésus-Christ, il doit se soumettre. Remember that Jesus Christ has paid for your perfect and complete healing. So, viewers, when he died at the cross of Calvary, so viewers, wherever you are, remember to open the doors of your hearts, touch your screen by faith, and receive all what God Thank has made Jesus. available for you in Jesus' name. Healing, I'm free. Y el evangelista está ministrando sanidad en la vida de esta mujer con un problema de infertilidad. Jesus. Esta Thank pareja Jesus. que viene en Thank busca you, de ese milagro. Espectadores, no hay problema que Jesús no pueda resolver. En él están todas las soluciones a los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. La unción de Dios está en la casa y no hay barrera ni distancia para que te impida recibir ese milagro de Dios. Así que toca tu pantalla y recibe en el nombre de Jesús. The book of James 5, verse 15 says, And the prayer of faith will heal the one who is sick. Prayers of faith are being offered in the name of Jesus Christ, right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, as the people are busy receiving their freedom. Thank the you, Jesus. Are busy receiving Thank their you, healing. Jesus. The people are busy receiving their restoration in Christ Jesus. Viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching us from, you are not exempted from all that is happening right here. Remember that faith in God Almighty is all that you need to receive from him today. In Jesus' name. Remember that in the presence of God, healing and deliverance is just like breathing. Viewers, wherever you are, remember to use your faith to place a demand on the anointing and receive what God has made available for you. Receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your breakthrough by faith in Jesus' name. Espectadores, estamos viendo el servicio dominical en vivo y en directo transmitido desde la Arena de la Libertad en la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, Lagos, Nigeria. Permanece conectado en poder en el nombre de Jesucristo, poder para sanar, para bendecir, para liberar. La unción está en la casa y no hay barrera ni distancia que te impida hoy recibir tu propia porción. Toca tu pantalla y recibe tu propia porción hoy en el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo. Pon tu fe a actuar. Watch as the evangelist is used as a vessel of honor to deliver and to heal whatever is in the life of the people. Viewers also can be a partaker of this divine healing taking place here, here at the Arena of Liberty. All you need to do is to connect by faith and receive. Les spectateurs, vous êtes en direct de la synagogue église de toutes les nations, Lagos, au Nigeria. Vous voyez comment Dieu utilise les évangélistes comme un vaisseau de guérison, de bénédiction pour son peuple apportant le salut au nom de Jésus-Christ. Remember that the instant we believe, we receive. So viewers all over the world, as you watch the power of God Almighty in action, trust in him for your own healing, trust in him for your own deliverance, trust in him for your own restoration, and watch God's power in action. Remember that faith does not take a day off. Faith focuses on Jesus instead of the Thank appropriate. Thank you, Jesus. We are free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Family is free. Thank you, Jesus. Espectadores, recuerda que tan solo la fe le agrada a Dios, así que pon tu fe a actuar, pon tu fe a actuar para que puedas recibir tu propia porción. Toca, atrapa la unción por fe, porque la unción está en la casa. Remember that when God Almighty is in a place, you feel and see the move. That move is made manifested here at the arena of liberty, as the sick are being healed and delivered. Viewers around the world, wherever you are, remember distance is never a barrier to, for you to receive your own healing, your own deliverance, and your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Cette femme souffre de fibromes utérines 
Elle reçoit sa délivrance, c'est le spectateur, regardez Dieu à l'œuvre. Un simple toucher suffit pour recevoir sa guérison au nom de Jésus-Christ et le spectateur. Il suffit juste de croire, rappelez-vous, croire, c'est notre connexion à notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Que Jésus ne peut pas résoudre ni enfermedad qu'il ne peut pas sanar. Así que topa, toca tu pantalla y recibe tu propia porción. Estamos viendo el poder de Dios en acción, en vivo y en directo, desde la arena de la libertad. Los evangelistas están ministrando bajo la unción del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre del único y gran sanador, Salvador Jesucristo. The great restorer, the great healer, the great physician is doing what he does best, using the faculties of the evangelist to bring about the healing, the restoration that the people need. Remember, as Prophet T.B. Joshua said, that healing is a gift from God which is to be received by faith. Jesus, right now, you, put your Thank faith to walk you, to receive of God's healing power. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, still heals and healed all manner of sickness and disease. Never a sickness cannot heal, never a disease it cannot cure. Never a friend like Jesus Christ. So viewers, wherever you are, remember to open the door of your heart by faith and receive all what God has made available for you in Jesus' name. Evangelist, pray for these women who suffer from fibromes. Look at the power of our Lord Jesus Christ in the work, the healing, the restoration, expulsing all the power of the devil to his glory. The spectators, look at her as she receives her deliverance. God Almighty continues to show us plenty of evidence to prove that he remains the healer, the deliverer, and the blessings provider. Viewers all over the world, watch how people are receiving their healing, people are receiving their deliverance, people are receiving their newly found freedom in Christ Jesus. As you watch God's power in action, you too can receive all that you are witnessing right here. By faith, touch your screen and receive in Jesus' name. Y esa mujer cae bajo la unción del Espíritu Santo, vino con ese problema de fibromas que Jesucristo ha sanado ya para la gloria de Dios. Continuamos viendo en vivo y en Thank directo you, la sección de emergencias, la línea de oración. Personas han venido con diferentes Thank enfermedades. You, esta mujer viene con fibromas múltiples en busca de ese toque sanador. El evangelista ministra oración bajo el poder del Espíritu Santo. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Cette femme souffre de multiples fibromes. Elle a également les tubes bloqués. Elle est déclarée libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your name. Thank you, Continuamos viendo el poder de Dios en acción, el poder de Dios para bendecir, para liberar, para sanar. Estamos en la arena de la libertad, Lagos, Nigeria, sinagoga, iglesia de todas las naciones. Y vemos a esta mujer como cae bajo la influencia del Espíritu Santo. Dios está desarraigando toda causa raíz de enfermedad en la vida de estas personas, porque hay poder en el nombre de Jesucristo para sanar, bendecir y liberar. Toca tu pantalla y recibe hoy tu propia porción. Dios, you're witnessing the power of God at work. The light of God is dispelling every shade of darkness in the, in the lives of the people. Wherever you are, begin to meditate on the promises of God's word. Begin to meditate on what God says about you in his word. Begin to meditate. in his word. Remember, distance is never a barrier to the move and power of God. So continue to meditate. Continue to meditate on what God says about you. Begin to believe in the promises of his word. You're watching the reaction of that woman. That she's I am evil spirit. <laughs> A cause of delay. A cause of setback. Vemos la manifestación de la causa raíz del problema de esta mujer de infertilidad. 
Hemos visto la manifestación de ese espíritu diabólico causando ese problema de enfermedad. Y Jesucristo está trayendo liberación mediante la oración ungida del evangelista en el nombre de Jesús. Vemos la reacción de esta mujer al recibir la oración. Su organismo está expulsando toda sustancia venenosa, toda sustancia que el enemigo había depositado en su sistema. Está siendo desarraigada ahora por el poder del Espíritu Santo. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, cette femme est en train de venir tout ce que Satan a déposé dans son corps, qui est toxique, la maladie, sort au nom de Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of Prophets, B. Joshua. Thank you, Lord. I'm free. I'm delivered. de vos écrans, l'évangéliste prie pour cet homme qui a des problèmes cutanés, maladie de peau. Souffle de psoriasis Problème cutané. Remember that when you speak the word of faith over your... That man. Indeed, thank you, Jesus. Is a response for me, happy hearts. Testimonies are being restored right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. As the people are busy receiving their healing, the people are busy receiving their deliverance, the people are busy receiving their restoration in Christ Jesus. Viewers, as you continue to watch the power of God in action, by faith, touch your screen and receive your own portion of blessings today in Jesus' name. People have come from far and wide or to receive from the throne of grace viewers around the world, use your faith to place a demand on the anointing and God Almighty will meet you at the points of your needs in Jesus' name. Vemos a esta 
A esta mujer con hepatitis B, depresión, ataques diabólicos, viene desde China en busca de ese toque sanador que solo Jesucristo puede traer a tu vida. Dios, wherever you are, remember to open the door of your hearts by meditating on God's word as the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of him. Cette femme vient de Chine, elle souffre d'hépatite B. L'évangéliste prie pour elle au nom de Jésus-Christ, par la foi des spectateurs, vous aussi, connectez-vous et recevez notre guérison au nom de Jésus. Viewers, begin to set your heart free, free from bitterness, free from anger, free from all things. Begin to meditate on God's words, wherever you are. Remember that you also are not excluded in this divine healing, divine blessings, divine deliverance taking place right Thank here you, at the arena of Thank liberty. You, all you need Pray. to do is to step out in faith and receive all what God has made available for you. Y vemos como los evangelistas están siendo usados por Dios para traer sanidad a la vida de su pueblo. Orando en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesucristo están ministrando esta oración sanadora. Este joven con un problema de desorden, de ansiedad, está recibiendo ese toque libertador. Y estas personas, este grupo de personas que vienen de China, uno a uno, están recibiendo su liberación y su sanidad. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. We also around the world, you also can be a partaker of this divine deliverance, divine blessings, divine healing, divine deliverance taking place right here, live and direct at the arena of liberty. All you need to do is to connect by faith and receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Les spectateurs, regardez vos écrans. Les spectateurs, voyez la puissance du Saint Esprit, le feu du Saint Esprit qui est en train de consumer toute maladie, toute puissance des ténèbres à sa gloire au nom de Jésus Christ. Yours is a practical proof that your case will not escape the anointing of God. All you need to do is to use your faith to place a demand on the anointing for you to receive your own healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Remember that a break in faith is a break in prayer, and a break in prayer is a break in Christ Jesus. Remember, yours continue to meditate in your heart, continue to ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give him more of him. More of your healing, more of your deliverance, more of your blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Merci, Jesus. La réponse d'un cœur heureux. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. In the name of Jesus Christ, is the power to heal. Power to save, power to bless, power to deliver. You are all over the world. What you're witnessing is a proof that all power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name, Jesus. You are wherever you are. In that name, Jesus, you too can receive. You, in that Jesus. name, Jesus, you, Jesus. you too can be a partaker of all that is going on right here. Who are you, this body? Who are you? Oh, Who are you? 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 Who are Déclarez libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Si dans la reine de la liberté, il y a la guérison. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can see the anointing of God moving in the midst of the people. Viewers around the world, remember that distance is never a barrier for you to receive your divine healing, your divine blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Évangéliste, prie pour cette femme qui souffre d'hypertension. Le Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre, téléspectateurs, restez connectés. Remember that it is not the amount of prayer you pray that counts, but the faith you put into your prayer that counts. As you continue to watch God's power in action, begin to put your faith to work. Begin to confess all that you seek in Christ Jesus. Viewers all over the world, you're witnessing the power of God at work right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the arena of liberty. As you continue to watch the power of God in action, by faith, touch your screen and receive your own portion of blessings today in Jesus' name. Viewers, as we watch God's power moving in the midst of the people, ask God Almighty to give you the grace to stay far from sins and close to him, far from grudges, far from iniquities, offense, and whatever Satan must have used to connect you to himself in order for you to receive your own divine healing, divine breakthrough, divine blessings in Jesus' name. Toujours en direct de la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Il y a des fidèles qui sont venus du monde entier, de la Chine, d'Afrique du Sud, de Botswana, ici dans la reine de la liberté. Ils reçoivent leur guérison, la restauration au nom de Jésus-Christ. The ministration of healing and deliverance is still going on here at the Arena of Liberty. All you have to do is open up your heart with faith. Open up your heart with faith and believe, with meditation. For you will know that Jesus Christ is working out the answer. Thank you, Jesus. You should thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. La guérison, la délivrance continue ici de la reine de la liberté au nom de Jésus-Christ. She said, thank you, Jesus. She said, thank you, Jesus. The evangelists are still in the midst of the people ministering prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. The sick are being healed. Demons are being sent out. And the captives are being set free. Anywhere you're watching us from, viewers, tap into the mighty anointing right here. Begin to offer the prayers of faith, believing that God Almighty will come to the scene and give you your own healing, your own deliverance, your own restoration in the name of Jesus. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name, Jesus Christ. The power to heal, the power to save, the power to deliver. So viewers all over the world, with faith in your heart, continue to call on that name, Jesus, and he will meet you at the point of your need.
Remember that Jesus Christ has come to save us, to preserve us, to heal us, and to make us whole. And you can see the same anointing moving in the midst of the people. Remember that distance is never a barrier for you to receive your own healing. All you need to do is to step out in faith and receive what God has made available for you. Seguimos aquí en la arena y en la libertad, en vivo y en directo, con la administración de los evangelistas de sanidad, liberación y bendición. Espectadores, toca tu pantalla y recibe hoy tu propia porción. As you watch God's power in action, trust him. Continue to press him by faith and receive all what God has made available for you and receive what you desire from God. Viewers all over the world, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He healed and still heals all manners of sicknesses and diseases. This means healing belongs to you. It is a gift. It is yours. Jesus paid for your perfect and complete healing when he died on the cross. Viewers all over the world, you are still witnessing the power of God moving in the midst of the people. Me up, me up, Open up your heart with faith, Thank you, Jesus. believe, and connect. Remember that God's word is healing now, blessing now, delivering and saving now. All you need to do is to step out in faith and receive what God has made available for you. Cet homme souffre d'hypertension, diabète, Remember that distance is never a barrier for you to receive all what God has made available for you. All you need to do is to step out in faith, touch your screen, and receive all what he has made available for you in Jesus' name. right here as the sick are getting their healing the demon possessed are getting their deliverance so viewers all over the world connect by faith to receive of god's healing and deliverance power who are you going to her why is not jesus Babylon to her a career a help who are you in this body who are you in this body Nothing. Who are doing this body? Too sure. <laughs> Just wait. Everything. <laughs> Just like what? Just nothing to show. Who is the cause? Who is the cause? <laughs> so who are you? Set back of cause. So what? Set back of cause. <laughs> Fair name of Jesus. Fair name of Jesus. Thank you. Fair name of Jesus. Thank you. Christ name of Jesus Christ.
Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. My children are free. We are free. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Watch as the evangelist is used as a medium to uproot whatever Satan must have planted in the life of the people. Viewers around the world, remember that it is God's will for you to be physically healed and spiritually saved. All you need to do is to connect by faith and receive all what God has made available for you. Viewers all over the world, your sicknesses, your diseases, your afflictions does not embarrass Jesus because he is the solution to all fundamental issues of life. Never a sickness he cannot heal, never a disease he cannot cure, never a burden he cannot bear, never a friend like Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Remember that no matter your situation, God is able. He has not created. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You can see the reaction of the woman as she's no longer in control of herself, as the evangelist is busy uprooting whatever Satan must have planted in her life. Viewers around the world, remember that distance is never a barrier for you to receive your own healing, your own deliverance, and your own breakthrough. All you need to do is to step out in faith, connect by faith, and receive what he has made available for you in Jesus' name. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Viewers, as you watch the power of God in action, know that the move of God Almighty is not time and space bound. It doesn't matter where you're watching us from, God Almighty can meet you at the point of your very need today. All you need to do is to trust in him for your own miracle and receive in Jesus' name. No matter your situation, God is able. He has not created a thing he cannot control, and he has not created a thing he cannot command, and he's ready to command whatever problem you're facing out in Jesus' name.
The people are receiving good morning in their health, good morning in their bones. In their times of sickness into a time of good health, their times of sorrow into a time of joy. The divine healing, the divine deliverance is being channeled through the faculties of the evangelist to those who seek for his healing, for his breakthrough, and for his blessings. So viewers all over the world, as you watch God's power in action, trust him for your healing, trust him for your deliverance, and trust him for all that you are seeking for. Remember that he's the unchangeable changer. He's the God that makes the impossible possible. Remember that there's nothing he created that he cannot change. Therefore, cast your bodies upon the Lord. Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he will give you rest. As the Bible says that prayer is the master key, the prayer has been offered by the evangelist is unlocking the doors of divine healing, divine breakthrough, divine deliverance. So viewers, wherever you are, connect by faith to receive of God's power. Salvation is a matter of faith. There is Therefore, let your focus be on God, not your problem. Let your focus be on God, not your challenges. Let your focus be on God Almighty, not your troubles. And we will write your story in Jesus' name. And God Almighty is rewriting their stories as they are saying goodbye to sickness, goodbye to disease, goodbye to infirmities. Amen. Thank you for healing my children, my family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Jesus. Is a response from a happy heart. Watch as the evangelist is used to uproot whatever is the root cause of problem in the woman's life. We are around the world. You also are now excluded from this divine healing taking place right here at the arena of liberty. Step out in faith and believe in God Almighty. Jesus. Father, 
All over your body. Fire on the name of Jesus. Fire. All over your body. Fire on the name of Jesus. Can I deliver her? Fire. She belongs to me. God's not where. My family is very free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus.
joy shall remain permanent in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Yes, it is time for mass prayer. It is time for mass prayer. Yes, prophet T.B. Joshua says there is power in your mouth. The belief in your heart is released by faith out of your mouth. You have the authority and the power of the name Jesus at your command. Whatever you lose here on earth shall be lost in heaven. Whatever you say right here shall be said in heaven. So right now with faith in your heart, open your lips. Whatever spirit from your past, whatever spirit from your past hindering your present and your future, whatever spirit, whatever spirit from your past hindering your present and your future, begin to rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Every spirit from your past hindering your present and your future, rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. You have the authority in the name of Jesus at your command. Whatever you say right here shall be said in heaven. Begin to rebuke all spirits. All spirits from your past. Hindering your present and your future. Rebuke them, rebuke them, rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Every spirit from your past. Hindering your present and your future. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. 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 That spirit from your past. That spirit from your past. That spirit from your past. Hindry your present. Hindry your present. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Continue to rebuke them, rebuke them, rebuke them, rebuke them. Sigue revocando todo espíritu de tu pasado que esté obstaculizando tu presente y tu futuro. Abre tu boca y ora. Revócalo en el nombre de Jesús. Si tu espíritu, tu espíritu, from my past, de mi pasado, tu espíritu, espíritu, from my past, de mi pasado, in my present. 
existence and my future. Your spirit from my past, in my present, and my future. I command you. I command you. I command you. I command you in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus. Out! 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 in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out, command them out, command them out, command them out. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out. No hiding place for them. Command them out in the name of Jesus. No hay escondite para ese espíritu. Todo espíritu de tu pasado, obstaculizando tu presente y tu futuro, revoca el orden de fuera en el nombre de Jesús. No hay escondite para ese espíritu. Ora. Continue to command them out, 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 command them out. Command them out, command them out in the name of Jesus. There is power in your mouth. There is power in your mouth. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Every unclean spirit. Every familiar spirit. Every unclean spirit. Familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Every family idol. Every ancestral spirit. Every unclean spirit. Every familiar spirit. Every familiar spirit. Every unclean spirit. Family idol. Ancestral spirit. Ancestral spirit. Holy Ghost. 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 Command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. That idol tormenting your life, tormenting your family, tormenting your life. Command them out in the name of Jesus. That ancestral spirit, that ancestral spirit, because of confusion, because of setback, because of disappointment. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they are hiding, anywhere they are hiding. Enough is enough to get pressure in your life. Anywhere they are hiding, come on them out in the name of Jesus. Come on them out, come on them out, come on them out, come on them out. Come on them out, come on them out in the name of Jesus. Come on them out in the name of Jesus. Say you are clean spirits. You are clean spirits. You are clean spirits. You familiar idol. You familiar spirits. You familiar spirits. You family idol. You family idol. You ancestral spirits. You ancestral spirits. I come. I command you. I command you. I command you. Out. 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 Command them out in the name of Jesus. They must obey. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Say your spirit. I call you by your name. Your spirit. Frustrating my efforts. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Out. 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 Jesus. That spirit for strengthening your efforts. That spirit for strengthening your business. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Speak to the name of Jesus. Speak to the name of Jesus. They must obey. Command them in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you are, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Pray, 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 pray. Vamos ahora. Envía fuera todo espíritu frustrando tu vida, tu familia, tus negocios. Todo espíritu que esté frustrando tu vida.
ordenarle fuera por el fuego. Fuera, I call you by your name. Y te llamo por tu nombre. Your spirits. Tu espíritu. To my father's house. De la casa de mi Your spirits. Tu espíritu. To my mother's house. De la casa de mi I call you by your name. Te llamo por tu nombre. Tell me where you are. Holy God. Jesus. They must obey. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Speak to them. Ordena fuera todo espíritu de la casa de tu padre, de tu madre, todo ídolo. Háblales. Say your spirit of sickness. Y tu espíritu de enfermedad. Your spirit of sickness. Espíritu de enfermedad. Anywhere you are. Donde quiera que estés. Say come out. Fuera. Out. 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 Fuera. Fuera. Fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Ora. The spirit of sickness. Espíritu de enfermedad. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Háblales en el nombre de Jesús. Every hidden sickness in your blood, en tu sangre, in your kidneys, en tu riñones, in your liver, en tu hígado, in your tendons, en tu tendón, say out, fuera, out, fuera, out, fuera, out, fuera, come out of the mouth, in the name of Jesus. Fuera de en de Jesús, toda enfermedad escondida, ora. Place your hand anywhere you have in that pain. Pon tu mano donde tengas come out of the mouth, in the name of Jesus. Y fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Every hidden sickness, spread to them in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Ora, ora, empieza toda enfermedad fuera, toda enfermedad escondida en tu sangre, en tus riñones, en tu hígado. The hidden sickness in your blood. Enfermedad en tu sangre. The hidden sickness in your kidneys. Escondida en tus riñones. In your liver. Escondida en tu hígado. Holy God. Espíritu Santo. Holy God. Espíritu Santo. Say out. Y fuera. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Speak to them, they must obey. Hope your mother pray. Command them to leave. In the name of Jesus. Command them to leave. In the name of Jesus. That sickness is stealing your finances. That sickness is causing you pain. That sickness is causing you discomfort. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hey! Come on out! Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Command them out! That hidden sickness. That hidden pain. Giving pain. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 pray. Ora, cuando tiene enfermedad escondida en tu sangre, en tus riñones, en tu hígado, dando enfermedad, dando dolor. That poison in your ligaments. That poison in your system. In your system. Come on, the man, the name of Jesus. Ordena fuera todo veneno. That moving objects. Come on, the man, the name of Jesus. Ordena fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Todo objeto moviéndose, todo. Come on, the man, the name of Jesus. Ordena fuera en el nombre de Jesús. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús oramos. I command the spirits to leave you in the name of Jesus. You must mean it if you agree with me. You mean it that that spirit must leave you. I can't hear you. Say, I mean it. That spirit must leave me. Cet esprit doit me quitter. The spirit of destruction. L'esprit de destruction. The spirit of killing. L'esprit de meurtre. The spirit of stealing. L'esprit de vol.
speaking to you, Kivon, in the name of Jesus. I command you, devil, to a jab. Leave my people. Let's move up. You devil. Tu demonio. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You evil spirit. Tu es I said, leave my people. Tu espíritu mundo. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Leave my people. Let's move up. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Say, you must leave me. Tu dois me quitter.
Joshua, as we told you this morning, she said what she said to you, you are not forgotten. <laughs> say to the neighbor, I am not forgotten. Dile a tu vecino, no estoy My olvidado. day of remembrance has come. Yes, you are not forgotten. No estás olvidado, no estás dejado atrás. Expect something positive in your life. Espera algo positivo en tu vida. Say to your neighbor, I am not forgotten. Dile a tu vecino, no estoy olvidado. My day Mi día of remembrance de recuerdo has come. Ha llegado. Please say to your neighbor, congratulations. Dile a tu vecino, felicitaciones. Congratulate your neighbor, congratulate your neighbor. Felicitaciones. Congratulations. Felicitaciones. Hallelujah. Yes, it's time to share the grace. Are you ready? Oh, Father, we thank you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, que la gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, the love of God, el amor de Dios, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, y la comunión del Espíritu Santo, be with us now and forevermore. Esté con nosotros. Amen. Surely. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Que Dios les bendiga a todos. Thank you.
you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website at www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled out the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any travel arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoran.org. We look forward to hearing from you. In Maliwa.